family affair in Pro Stock Motorcycle as Hector Arana Jr. beat his dad, Hector Arana, in the final round. You know, I'm just satisfied we got a Wally. And uh, I love coming to the final round against my dad, but uh, it's just not the same when you beat him. I like beating those other guys out there. So, you know, we won. Our team won. Luke Soul won. R&R. &R, RT Tooling. R&R &R Farms. Hey, guys, everybody out there, hashtag NHRA PSN. Follow us, up, follow us, and let's get this thing going good. Mellow Yellow. This stuff's good. Vincent Nobile beat teammate Jason Line in the final to earn the win. You know what? A win's a win, it don't matter. As a team, me and Jason, the rest of the summer crew, we brought it home this weekend. We needed a lot more of that. You know what? I want to give a big shout out to my to my guy Kenny back at home. We miss you out here. He's doing a whole lot for, for the Nobile family and uh Funny car, Matt Hagen clinched his first win of 2014, racing past teammate Tommy Johnson Jr. in the final round. You know what, it takes a lot of pressure off, and you know, Dickie Vanderbilt has uh, been beating himself up, beating himself up, and you know, you just kind of keep rooting that guy on because he's smart, you know, and he's got it together now. And when the car's going down the racetrack, and he's racing smart, so uh, just super proud of my guys, uh, everybody that's been turning wrenches on this car. Just did a phenomenal job. They get a, they put a hell of a race car in me today. Uh, just can't say enough to, to Bella Yella and, and our series sponsor for keeping us going. Yeah, I mean, we really do. And I'm uh, just proud of all my guys. But uh, thanks for all the folks who've been rooting us on. I know there's uh, a lot of folks that, that have been standing at the ropes and keep telling us every weekend we can get this done. And I uh, finally did. So, uh, you know, it's just it's just cool. And me and my family, I wish they was here. But uh, we're going to celebrate tonight and have some fun. And, you know, maybe drink a little beer with these guys. Fuel pilot Antron Brown scored his fourth win of the season, taking down Ricky Force in the final. This is incredible. Yeah, man, uh, this goes to my team owner, Dom, man. It's just, it's an incredible milestone. 230 for DSR. This race team's incredible. Funny cars are on point. Drax just brought it home at the home track. That means it all right now, man. I tell you what. Brittany did a great job that time. I watched the lights all day. And I tell you what, she must have been sipping on some mellow yellow because she went on yellow that time. She got me by a thou. But you know what? That's it, baby. That's it. Hagen, we've been talking about this for a long time. We finally did it, boy. I'm a shadow. I'm his younger brother. I got, I got the muscles, too. Woo! But I'm jumping. But uh, hey, it's great. Anson won yesterday, my son, in the Midwest Series. So it's been just a great, great weekend, man. And uh, I, I miss my family, my wife, everybody, man. But for most, all the macro distributors here, here we go, baby. We're back. Atlanta sent us back a little bit, Big Garrett, but we're marching now. And on this Mako Tools to the U.S. Army car, and we got to keep it going, man. we got to keep on pushing. Final lap for Brad Keselowski. Started on the pole, sixth time in his career, but he has never won from the pole in his Sprint Cup career. When Brad won here in 2012, he led 68 laps. Tonight, he simply took him behind the woodshed, leading 199 to 67. Brad Keselowski wins it at Kentucky. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Sports we're going to review. The reason I couldn't do yesterday because I was not feeling well. I didn't feel like making anything. But then the NASCAR video, I did Sunday, so that's why. So th that's why on Sunday I was, I mean, feeling better and all that stuff. But just, uh, and on Monday, some just hit me. I didn't feel like doing any video, something like that. But hey, I'm good. Let's do this. So anyway, NASCAR you just heard that Brad got his second win of the season by at dominating at Kentucky. Uh, I don't know what happened to Harvick. He just kind of. <laughs> Slipped back out of the top five, and then Junior got uh, fifth, and uh, which is a good points day. I don't get me wrong. So, but uh, yeah, but and also I heard that after the race that Brad, I kind of uh, think he kind of cut his hand. I for, I they actually told me, but I kind of forgot how it happened. But yeah, it's something with I kind of figured it's well, I knew it's something with glass. I just yeah, just it happens. I mean, it's NASCAR. They celebrate, beer gets involved, so what can you do? So, um, but anywho, uh, next is Daytona. They're back at Daytona. 
so for the Pepsi, no, sorry, <laughs> Coke Zero 400, I keep, I get so used to saying Pepsi because it's been all, been mostly all that all the time, but yeah, it's the Coke Zero 400, but, but usually I like to do this because it's always under the original name. It used to be called the Firecracker 400. No, no joke. Go, go look it up on, on Google. Type in Firecracker 400 and, and they'll tell you where it was held at. And it, that's what it was. It was a, Actually, I think it was for a while in the late 90s that they used to call the Pepsi Firecracker 400, but it just was Firecracker 400. So, but I don't know if they got rid of that name because for sponsor's sake, I have no idea, but uh, it's going to be fun. And let's see if Junior can target the season sweep at, at Daytona. So, <laughs> just hope he doesn't get caught in an accident or anything, nothing happens. So, say so, who, uh, NHRA, you just saw there. Um, the Haranas were in the finals on the bike. Uh, Hector around the third I think so yeah got got his first win of the season and um, Vincent Nobile barely edged out his teammate I don't know how they could be teammates but uh, Jason Line and uh, he got his first win of the season and then uh, Matt Hagen DSR still got things back on track and uh, and also he had another DSR uh, car uh, Antoine Brown one with Brittany Force in her first final uh, she almost did pull it off, but yeah, Antron was a little too strong. So, and that's a good future for that kid. I mean, she's uh, she just she has proved herself. She she can make it to a final round. Uh, she has done so well in the beginning of the season, but now things are starting to look up for the for, for that force, the only top fuel in John Force Racing. So, and let's take a look at the points here. I haven't checked the points yet after that race. So let's take a look. Okay. Yeah, you're in the background there. Sorry about that. The TV was left on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it. Okay. Uh, in top fuel, Doug Kalettis has a 102 point lead over Antron Brown, and then Sean Langdon, Spencer Massey, Tony Schumacher, Steve Torrance. Brittany Forrest jumped away to 7th, and Cal Belushi, Richard Crampton, and J.R. Todd runs up top 10, and Clay Milliken and Bob Vittergriff are the ones that are 11th and 12th. About, uh, I think, uh, probably 78 points behind, but uh, Vittergriff and Milliken are one each each other, so <laughs> 11 and 12th is tight, so. And in Funny Car, Robert Hyde still has a big points lead over Tommy Johnson, sticking on number 2 spot now. With 246, and it's John Forrest, Ron Caps, Alexis DeJoria, and Courtney Forrest, Del Worsham, Mahagan, Chris Petragon, and Tim Wilkerson as Mahagan climbed his way back in because he kept losing in first round. So he's back in eighth place. I mean, we're back in the top 10. In. But his teammate Jack Beckman's 11th, and uh, Robert Tasca are on the outside looking in. So it's just Jack. It'll be a fight for Jack and Tim. I think Tasca's too much behind, but you never know, though. I mean, wins, you you, you, you have to get up a lot of points. And Pro Stock, Erica, and Erica Ender Stevens still has a good points lead over Jake Coughlin, which is 190. Then his teammate Alan Johnson is 191, so it's a, a, a one point difference between second and third <laughs> as of now. Then Jason Line, Vincent Nobile, then Dave Connolly, Shane Gray, V. Gaines, Chris McGehe, then Jonathan Gray runs on top 10, then Jay, and, bleh, and Greg Anderson, Larry Morgan on the outside looking in. And that one's going to probably tie as well because, yeah, it's not far, but it's it's going to be tied in Indy. I believe it. And then in Pro Stock Motorcycle, Andrew Hines has a 21 points over his teammate Eddie Krawick, then his Hector Rana Jr., John Hall, Matt Smith, Scott, Scott Polachek, Hector Rana, Michael Ray Jr., Andy Smith, then and Steve Johnson, and Sean Gannon, and Charles Candy on the outside looking in, which they're tied for 11th. So, yeah. Yeah, because when they go to Indy, that's when it's set the the uh, the, uh, the countdown of the championship. So, so you have it. So, next race after they were done in Joliet. Oh, something happened back there. <laughs> it's okay. It is. Uh, let's see here. They're at Norwalk. Norwalk, Ohio, next week. HRA Summit Racing Equipment Nationals. 
So then after that, uh, about two weeks off, then they're going to start the Western Swing, my favorite time of the year for the HRA. Because you know why? They ended at Seattle, well, Kent, Washington, actually. It's my home track. Okay, let's... Okay, I'm going to see if the ESPN3 uh, got it back, got it on or not. Let's see here. Okay. We're going to call football's coming up here not too soon. That's why I'm wearing this. <laughs> okay. Monday, let's see here. Let's see the update. Yep, they have, and it's at 12 Eastern. Good. <laughs> so it's at 9 o'clock my time, so I'll be up and watching it in, 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 in case I don't go to work that day, so, because I have no idea. So there you have it. And wrestling, well, we just saw what happened in Money in the Bank and on Raw. I watched Raw last night, and uh, at the Money in the Bank, um, well, nobody wanted to see Seth Rollins win. <laughs> I mean, he was, uh, I mean, he was just the right guy at the right time. I mean, Dean, Dean Ambrose almost won, come back from injury, which is, I don't know if it's really injured or not. But uh, but so far, yeah, I mean, Kofi almost won it. Dolph, uh, Dolph came close, but others weren't close. Uh, Wade Barrett didn't show up because I think he was injured. But uh, uh, so we're, but he almost did cash in last night, though, if Dean Ambrose didn't interfere. I mean, didn't, uh, 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 well, I mean, scared him away, so to say. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, but uh, but for the World, WWE World Heavyweight Championship, John Cena is now a 15-time champion, one away from the Nature Boy Ric Flair, who holds the record for 16-time champion, world champion. So, will it happen? Will it not? I mean, Orin's close too. Orin's getting that range, so. I wonder if they're going to have a match. Like, who will be the 16-time champion type of thing? <laughs> who, who will pass Ric Flair's record a 17 times? So, I don't know. It's the W's thing. But, yeah, I mean, but uh, there was some re returns last night. I seen uh, The Miz return, Chris Joker return, and AJ Lee returned. Um, but no CM Punk yet. Uh I don't... I think he's probably completely done with wrestling. But I... Um, but he's... But, but W's... Still has a contract though with him, so I don't know if he's gonna make a a return. But yeah, I mean, but yeah, who who knows? Uh, but AJ Lee shocked everybody as she became the two-time Divas Champion last night over Paige. But uh, but other matches, uh, I think. Oh, Rusev uh, beat uh, Biggie Biggie Langston for the second time. I can make fun of R Rusev. <laughs> It's like Rusev wins, Rusev punch, Rusev kick, Rusev wins, <laughs> Rusev out of the ring. <laughs> because because that, because he talks like that. I mean, you've got to come up with silly stuff. So, but uh, but yeah, him and uh, Jack Swagger had a stare down finally after Jack Swagger and Zach Cole have been so much about uh, America and illegal immigrants. So finally. We're going to have a robbery here between uh, Swagger and Rusev. So, so anyway, we'll just see how, how that all goes. But you've seen Battleground, Fatal 4 way match was made between uh, the the uh, uh, Bray Wyatt, Reigns, uh, Cena, and Orton. So, see what happens there in the Fatal 4 way match. So, anyway, off of that, NFL, haven't heard anything, but I got a shirt from uh, Relaying to Tecmo Bowl. It's, I mean, it has a Seahawks, well... Anyway, when I get it, I'll, I'll show you guys. So, but yeah, but I haven't heard anything much about NFL, anything big, major. So, so anyway, the NBA I haven't heard who who LeBron is going to yet. Uh, but uh, I just hope he doesn't go Portland. But and plus, that Portland can't afford him if he tried. But you never know. I mean, <laughs> you never know what those teams can be hiding. So, yeah. So, so anyway. On the MLB, I'm going to take a look at the standings because I know the Yankees, they beat the Red Sox once, but the Red Sox were out for revenge. Heard that um, uh, uh, they won it in the ninth inning, the, the uh, Red Sox did in game two of the series with the homer. 
So that was awesome. And plus the Red Sox won by three in game three. So. And for your soccer fans, soccer's going to earn. They're, they're, they're about to start between the USA and Belgium. I'm sorry. I mean, like I said that last week, I'm not much of a soccer fan. I just don't get into it. I don't know why. Just not my sport. Okay. Let's take a look. And now the air conditioner came on. <laughs> okay. That's not cooperating here. Just a second. But, uh, okay, there. All righty. Toronto is still on top of the American League East. The Yankees are still in third. At Boston's at about three games behind them. In, in the win column, that is. Then D Detroit's in the Central. Then Oakland in the West. And Seattle's in third. The National League. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, Atlanta's in the East. Milwaukee Central. Then the Dodgers are taking lead in the West. So, and uh, who's got the best overall record? It is. Oakland. A's. 51 31, which Milwaukee has the same win record, but they're 51 34. So, yeah. It has the worst overall record. Arizona Diamondbacks 35 49. Even though they're Chicago, they're 35 46. So, but yeah. Not a good day. <laughs> we will not a good year for them. So, say so, yeah. Uh, college football haven't heard anything came up yet. I will check just to make sure if there's anything. Um, Hmm. Yeah, next Texas Tech corner facing felony charges. Well, what else is new? <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. Take a look at the Oregon Ducks schedule. To see if they made changes. I just haven't found anything yet. Another summer team, Oregon football. Okay. Nope, no change yet. Hasn't loaded yet, but the first game I haven't seen anything. Nope, nothing. Okay, it stands as it is, so you have it. I don't have any other things, sports things announced like that. Nothing came up. So, in the exciting world of sports, but uh, no anything else to talk about. So, anyway, here's my video game music choice of the week. That one's Big Man 5 for the Game Boy Pluto stage. I like it. Some, it's kind of a soothing mu music for a bit, so. So anyway, um, this is coming next. WWE 2K14 for the, um, for the 30 years WrestleMania. And I seen the cover last night, speaking of that, I seen the cover last night for Raw as John Cena is on his, uh, I think it's his fourth. Here, let me, just a sec, let me think here how many the covers news he's been on.
So I'm thinking. So this is his fourth. Because he was on with with Batista in uh, Sign Up for Raw in 2006. And he was on the cover of, uh, well, well, with other superstars, with uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, then uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, along with the big show in The Miz. And yeah, this is his fourth. So, yeah. Well, if you don't count WWE All-Stars with list superstars, so it kind of like, like his fifth, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, because he's on WWE All-Stars as well. So, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if he'll break the record, but I think he is. <laughs> I mean, well, for most superstars on the cover, but... Yeah, I mean, hey, I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't have nothing against it, so, but uh, just to see how good the game, the game will be, because I heard the modes on it. I heard there'll be the WCW mode, which will be awesome. We'll be going back in time for WCW. Uh, but uh, as far as like going to career mode, I've been there, done that. If you guys don't count me playing those previous games, like I was playing for Swap 2008, it's kind of like that. But we'll see how it. It might be a little bit different than that. So we'll see how. How how it goes in that, um, but yeah, NASCAR that was for career mode not going so well. I'm just, I'm just gonna play out th through it for you guys, even though I'm not gonna do so well. I, I hope I'm gonna probably finish somewhere in the top 20 in points. I'm gonna try my best, just never give up type of deal. So I'm gonna keep playing it for you. I'll I will kind of calm down my temper a, a little bit. My uh, uh, kind of anger towards the game, so I'm just going to calm that down so I won't say anything I don't want to say, so, so yeah, so anywho, um, so all that's coming up, um, yeah, after uh, WWE game's all done, like I said, NFL football will be coming next, I'll be, here, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the rundown on it, so after I do WWE 2K14, I'll be starting off with the, with the NES Classic Tekken Super Bowl, you know, no, well, I mean, well, it's a kind of classic for NES, but it's the Tecmo Bowl, then Tecmo Super Bowl. Then if for the PlayStation, I got Madden 99. I got Madden NFL 2002 for my PS2. I got NFL Street 1, 2, and 3 for the PS2. And I got Madden NFL 12 for the PS... Uh, I mean, for the... Uh, uh, for the uh, PS3. For my PS3. And plus, I got a... Uh, downloadable NFL game too. I well I mean for my PS3 downloadable games. So so yeah, I don't think I have any other game to show off. Well I do have one racing game. That's for right. I forgot to show off a racing game on my PS3. I will get to that to you guys here real soon. So and plus it's a kind of a classic. It's uh well I will I will show you guys just be let's be surprised. So I won't say anything. I won't do anything about it. But yeah I got like about maybe Two racing game, no, three racing games on the uh, on my PS3 to downloadable games. So, and plus I heard about the news about the PS4 that they have um, uh, uh they're gonna have old uh, PS2 games and PS1 games on there for the downloadable uh, uh, games. And uh, I ha I haven't uh, got to to a PS4 yet, so uh, like I say, I'm gonna still wait. I mean, they're gonna probably try to find some more new bugs to fix out, so kink out, so. Yeah, I'm not quite ready for that yet. So, I just want to be smart and save my money because I don't want to get something that just is going to be a waste. I mean, it's like you get it, then all of a sudden a problem occurs type of thing. So, i just going to be smart. I don't want to be one of those people who first hands get it and then, yeah. I mean, just don't want to be the first person to get it for, for something that's going to happen that they did not fix out that you don't know about type of thing. So, um, anywho, four slides coming up. Be safe, guys. Don't just gotta be smart with the fireworks. Don't be st stupid. Don't uh, try to uh, do anything stupid with them because the, because they are dangerous. They can create fires, especially on a dry field. I mean, kind of like mine. I actually got a uh, I, well, it's kind of past my fence. I got like a dry uh, uh, with the weeds and all that stuff. So it's kind of a good fire a fire starter. So I'm but uh, but but we're gonna be aware on that. So, but, uh, yeah, but I am working on the 4th of July, but I get off at 430, so which means I'm going to see the fireworks and all that stuff. But, uh, so yeah, guys, be safe, be smart, okay? Don't be a fool, especially on the drinking. Sometimes drinking takes over the mind, which it does, it numbs the brain. So, um, so yeah. So, anywho, uh, plus last Friday, I didn't tell you this, I had a pretty big, uh, impressive storm here last Friday. 
start off with a lightning storm and then a gush of rain. I mean, a shower of rain. I mean, it was kind of like a waterfall <laughs> last Friday. My poor my uh, poor brother got caught in it when, when he was on our lunch and he was walking. And then all of a sudden he seen uh, lightning, so he came and ran for cover. And then after he was going to get uh, picked up, he had to run out to the car and he just got soaked with rain. So, <laughs> got a wrong time. He'd be out for lunch when that happens. But yeah, but the lightning show was impressive though. I saw some bolts in the sky when, when I was outside. And, uh, but... Um, but yeah, but, but but the rain was not fun. So I wish I would record it for you guys. I just didn't think about it. So so yeah, I mean, uh, but anywho, it's it's gone. And plus, I heard we're gonna have another severe thunderstorm tomorrow. So I might record that if it hits here. That that is. I don't know if it's gonna hit or not. So, um, but but there's a warning out out for tomorrow. So so if it happens, I'm gonna try to be out. Well. Well, I'll figure it out. I know where to be at when it does hit. I mean, my house doesn't go very good on thunderstorms. The, uh, the uh, best view is from my brother's windows. The only best view for a lightning storm. Uh, but, but, but I mean, not my back deck. I, it, which you can't see it, but I got some sh uh, shrubs are in the way. So you can't really see, see the lightning very good. So, so yeah, I mean, so yeah, so if it happens, I'll get, I'll get it to you guys. So. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I like lightning shows. I mean, they're good. Just as long as you're under the roof, you're fine. So, so that's it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so it's just be smart. Take care. Don't think of anything dumb. Just be yourself, okay? Think what's right and all. So that's about it. So like I say, video's coming next. I'll be doing my WWE. Uh, I'll be going to WrestleMania's 1 through 9. That will begin right after this video, so. I'll be doing that next. So anyways, take care.